How's it going Rogues Gallery and welcome to another card game video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today we have a lot of things to talk about actually. It has been a pretty exciting news week in the TCG sphere that I kind of occupy. And uh, instead of making a bunch of little mini videos about all of these topics, I figured, hey, let's just compile them all into one big video here at the end of the week. We have a lot to talk about here. We have some really exciting and successful Kickstarters. We have some collaborations and I have some little things that I wanna share with you from my own personal side, including some very, very exciting stuff in regards to one of the companies that we're gonna talk about and a collaboration with myself. So I'm really excited with this, or I'm really excited about this, I'm really excited with this. I guess it still makes sense. Anyway, let's get started. Too excited. So let's talk about the one that I think is the most relevant to a lot of the viewers out there. This is the collaboration between Dragon Shield and Flesh and Blood, and I could not be more excited for this. All transparency here, I am an affiliate with Dragon Shield. I do have an affiliate link in the description down below, so if you would like to go and pick up these sleeves once they're available, you can use my promo code or use the link down below and it goes and supports me and you get these awesome sleeves. I will be getting my hands on some of these sleeves and doing like a proper review of them, telling you what I think of them overall, but just by the way that they look, they look fantastic. And here you can see the uh, four heroes that are currently available or will be available in a few months. And I also wanna say, don't worry too much if these heroes aren't the ones that you play, if you're just like, oh, I don't like any of these heroes. This is not uh, any like official things, but I have a good feeling that we may see other pieces of artwork from Dragon Shield in collaboration with Flesh and Blood in the future. So take that for what you will, not an official announcement, nothing official, I just, I have suspicions that we might see some other stuff in the future. Next up in the Flesh and Blood world, we have the official reveal of this new Mentor card from the Classic Battles, Dorinthia versus Reinar. And I think what is the most interesting here, other than the absolutely beautiful artwork by Federico Musetti, is that this card doesn't just go fetch a specialization card. It does get a specialization card, but it's a specific specialization card, Glistening Steel Blade, which is kind of what I assumed the card would be called based on the art that we saw before. And uh, it makes it very narrow. In fact, it reminds me of those old Magic the Gathering like Planeswalker intro decks. So here's hoping that the rest of the deck is very spicy because a card this narrow tends to... <laughs> Let's just say that those Magic the Gathering Planeswalker decks weren't the most competitive things out there. And uh, I really got my fingers crossed that these decks for the classic battles, Dorinthia and Reinar are competitive, at least a little bit competitive, and then they have some spicy stuff. Uh, but this card's just very, very narrow and only cares about the specific specialization. And before we get started with the Kickstarter topics, I do want to mention one thing. I kind of wanted to mention this when we were talking about the Dragon Shield and Flesh and Blood stuff, and I figured now's a good time to mention it. I personally, as an affiliate with Dragon Shield, I'm actually gonna be working with Dragon Shield to make custom Red Zone Rogue sleeves at a cost that will be affordable to you. I wanna basically offer Red Zone Rogue sleeves to fans of the channel and fans of the kind of art that I commission at the lowest possible price point. So here I'm going to show you a sneak preview of the next Red Zone Rogue playmat, but it's also going to be Dragon Shield sleeves. And here is the artwork for the Dragon Shield sleeves. I am so excited for this. I'm going to be able to offer these at $25 per box on redzonerogue.com. This is the exact same price as they're offered, um, the custom sleeves are offered on the Dragon Shield website. So this is basically going to be the same price as ordering you know, your you know, custom Dragon Shield sleeves, except you're ordering from me, and it all goes to support me, minus the cost of production and whatever the shipping is. And this is something that I want to do for every single new playmat release, or I guess I should say new uh, splash art release that I do. I wanna offer a playmat as well as sleeves, and I'm gonna be offering a um, bundle too on the website. You can buy the sleeves and you can buy the playmat, at a uh, decent discount. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'll have to work out the numbers, but at least like five bucks or something like that. So yeah, that, that's really exciting. Um, Dragon Shield is fantastic. I'm so glad I can partner with them and I wanna be able to offer more cool stuff for you. And I'm so excited for this new art. It is so good. The artist Silvia Meliani, who is a flesh and blood artist, but she's also done art for like 
Smite and a whole bunch of other stuff. She's a brilliant world-class artist and I can't wait to show you the full art on this thing. It is gorgeous. It is, without a doubt, the best piece of art that, at least my favorite piece of art that I've commissioned so far. And it's gonna be really hard to top this. So I'm super excited for this. This is something I'm probably only gonna do once or twice a year. Um, so stay tuned for that. Once I get the actual uh, sleeves in hand and the, the play mats in hand, I'll do a whole video on that going over the product. But that's just something that I'm really excited about and I wanted to share it with you. There's one other thing that I wanna share with you before we get to the Kickstarter stuff um, that has to do with Red Zone Rogue. And this is just a little teaser. This is just a little teaser. I have been in talks with a TCG to feature myself or one of my characters in their card game this year. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what card game it is. It's not Flesh and Blood. I know everyone's gonna think Flesh and Blood. I wish it's not Flesh and Blood, but uh, I'm really excited for this. Uh, I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how honored I am and how excited I am. Uh, you, can, the, you can speculate all you want in the comments down below, but this will not be a promo card. This will be in an actual set. You can open this card in booster packs. And I'm so excited for that. I'm not gonna tell you if it's gonna come out this year. I'm not gonna tell you if it's gonna come out next year. I'm gonna leave it very, very vague. You can guess all you want. I'm not gonna tell you if you're right. Even if people guess the right thing, I'm not gonna tell you, but just rest assured that when the time comes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so excited to show this off. So um, yeah, really excited for that. So let's talk about the Kickstarter stuff. So we're already like, you know, 10 minutes in. Let's talk about the Kickstarter stuff. So there are two big Kickstarters in my TCG sphere this week. The first one is, let's talk about the Talarian Community College. Uh, the academic deck box Kickstarter. So the professor over at Talarian Community College is a personal friend of mine, like like an actual personal friend of mine. He, he's local. I sometimes go over and we, you know, play some cards and uh, he's just a really, really good dude. And um, I'm so excited and so happy that his Kickstarter is so successful. They hit over $1 million in the first 24 hours. So I'm a little biased, obviously, in this regard, but I can't think of a better person, a better paragon of the card game community, not just magic, but just in the TCG sphere than the professor. He is such a positive force. He has excellent videos, uh, reviews of products and talks about magic a lot, but he also talks about Digimon, Flesh and Blood, a lot of other stuff. So uh, I'm super excited for this. I, I personally backed it. Uh, I backed it for two boxes. I think, uh, I think it's the actual perfect deck box for flesh and blood players it just is absolutely phenomenal and i know that um i'm gonna be using it for like all of my you know events if i ever travel to a calling or a pro tour or whatever this is gonna be the perfect box for that so that was really really exciting i i'm so once again so happy that it is that successful and i got my fingers crossed maybe he can reach much much higher heights uh, the other Kickstarter was also very, very successful this week, and it's one that I've been personally involved in uh, a little bit over the last few months. It is the Sorcery Contested Realm Kickstarter. And yeah, this is something that I'm just really, really excited for. Um, obviously, I've been playtesting this game since November or October of last year. I've been giving feedback, a lot of like rules clarification and that kind of stuff. I, I just love the project and I love the game and the creator is a really nice guy and I just really believe in their vision. I believe they hit over $800,000 in the first day and that's not surprising to me. I knew <laughs> I knew it would be crazy. Uh, my, my guess is that they end up around 1.5 million, but who knows, could be higher, could be a little bit lower, but I think it's gonna be around that, like, that area. And um, I've seen a lot of like people talking about it here and there. Some people kind of think it's going to be more like a traditional TCG. It's not really. Honestly, it's more like a premium board game, right? So there's only going to be like one set a year. And as such, the booster boxes are going to be a little bit more expensive because it's a huge set, 400 cards. So it's a set where you can, instead of having a bunch of little tiny sets, right, that are like 90 cards or whatever, it's just one big set. So as such, the booster boxes are a little bit more expensive. Um, and that's, you know, partially probably to pay for the 400 pieces of hand-drawn artwork. Uh, and it's also not gonna have organized play beyond like conventions. So, you know, you can go to like Dragon Con or Gen Con or something, and you can maybe have sorcery tournaments or you can maybe have some at your LGS. Um, and other than that, it's gonna be a really like kitchen table board gamey kind of stuff. It has a very 
flavorful vibe. The cards are very, very powerful, but not super balanced, if that makes any sense. Like there's a lot of really strong stuff. That's the kind of vibe the game is going for. Honestly, it's one of my favorite games to play right now, maybe my second or third favorite game to play. So I highly recommend backing the Kickstarter, even if it's just backing it for the starter decks, because honestly, I'll be completely honest here. If the game was literally just the starter decks and it's just a board game and that's it, I would still love it and I would still play it. It would be one of those games that I dust off, you know, every now and then to play because it's just that much fun. The fact that it's a TCG means you can expand upon that. And I think if you enter this with the right mindset, like it's a board game that you can kind of like buy pieces to and expand upon, right? It has a, a really good solid core experience with the starter decks and then you can expand upon that with um, booster product. I think that's the kind of mentality you should go into uh, sorcery with uh, because like I said, there's no competitive organized play uh, there might you know some might crop up like some third-party ones might crop up but uh, there's no like Real huge incentive to make your decks like super optimal unless you just want to crush people at the kitchen table, right? So it like I said, it's just a really really fun flavorful thing and I'm, I'm really excited to see it be so successful. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the next We Cross set is actually launching either today in the next few days or so. And um, I, I continue to love We Cross. I think it's the best anime game out there on the market, though Grand Archive might give it a run for its money later this year. But in any case, I still really like We Cross. I think it's a phenomenal game. It's one that I'm gonna keep covering on Red Zone Japan, even though I barely, <laughs> barely upload to that channel. I will have some box openings here on Red Zone Rogue to celebrate the launch of the new set. Uh, and then all the other stuff is gonna be over on Red Zone Japan, which is actually getting close to 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty, pretty awesome, actually. That means there's like, it's like 700 something right now. So 700 people um, are into We Cross, which is awesome. So it does have a community. People love this game. People do play this game. It's a really affordable game to get into, especially when compared to something like Flesh and Blood or Magic. Um, you can buy like six boxes and get a full play set of the entire of the entire set which is great and uh it's just a it's just an absolutely phenomenal game so i highly recommend uh we cross new set is going to be awesome and uh stay tuned for that kind of stuff going forward well i'm gonna have one like i said one on the channel uh, on red zone rogue and then the rest are going to be on red zone japan also subscribe to red zone japan let's get that channel to 1000 subs man like if you like the anime aesthetic go, go sub to red zone japan so that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Once again, don't forget to check out all of those affiliate links, my Dragon Shield affiliate link, the redzonerogue.com link down below where I'll have those sleeves up for sale once they're available. We'll have the sleeves, the playmats, and like a bundle available. I'm, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm probably gonna do like a bundle thing where if you just, it automatically does like a coupon discount kind of deal. I'm really excited for this. This is something I've thought a lot about and uh, just I'll leave you with one little tidbit. Um, we have came up with a name for our new channel character. Uh, her name is Veya. She's like a dual wielding uh, warrior with silver hair. She's awesome. I'm working with Emanuela Crovius, an amazing flesh and blood artist. And uh, we're gonna be doing some more splash art, which will also end up being sleeves as well. Um, the Sylvia mat and the Crovius mat are the two that I'm really focusing on this year. We might have some like anime stuff near the end of the year to cel celebrate the holidays. Maybe even some flesh and blood anime style stuff. I'm not sure yet. I think that could be really cool though. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for all of this stuff. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.